let's go over what's happening in the uh, overall market. Um, like I said, uh, the Saudis uh, bumped oil crude down almost $10 a barrel, and it's because they really add a lot of supply to the market. Um, a lot of U.S. shale companies, the U.S. shale companies are averaging right around 14 to 15 million barrels a day, and that's cutting into their market share. So um, what they did is they brought oil down quite a bit um, in the overnight session down last week to around $30 a barrel. Um, due to the coronavirus and other economic conditions, Goldman Sachs actually lowered, since the Fed also uh, lowered down to zero interest rates, um, they actually lowered their target on oil to $20 a barrel. So they get a lot of activity in oil because of it, but that creates opportunity. Um, gold's been getting quite active since the news, and then we also uh, are getting quite active in crude. Let's go over what we want to look for. Um, you want to look for these speed bars. Now, on April the set, or April, almost did again. I caught myself. April the 1st at 5 p.m., we're going to have a conference call on this algo that we're releasing on the algo. And the algo, we're going to go over, and it's going to go over the um, the testing software, the back testing software that we use with the overall system. So that's going to be released to all you guys and gals. And I'm going to go over in exact detail how the algo, how the, the algo works and how can, how can you test all these different time frames that you want to trade off of, etc. cetera. Uh, basically, what it's going to do is we're going to see uh, – it's going to give you setups like this where you're, it's going to actually show you possible short entries. This is our yesterday afternoon. had some setups. Um, it's actually going to project – these setups for you automatically based upon your parameters you put in and um, we'll be getting that going over this setup I'm going to send you a five sim ring this is a five sim Renko I believe uh, yeah five sim Renko I'm gonna send you a five sim Renko time frame out with the settings standard settings and then we're going to go over the algo in detail so April the 1st we're gonna go over this we're gonna be getting that, this out to all members uh, the back testing software on the system and um, Gerald's going to have all the parameters that he's going to get out to all you guys and gals on the software April the 1st at 5 p.m. make sure we're going to go over this and um, these will automatically fire off for you based upon the parameters you put in and um, like I said um, you could use uh, I went over a little bit last week but I'll go over it just a tad bit before we get started this morning um, I have a lot of different parameters put in. I got a trend filter put in. I've got um, I, I've got the uh, trend box put in. You can put your trend box in. I got target one, target two, trailing, stop loss. I got limit orders put in. I've got uh, profit goals, stop losses. I got the speed boxes put in. I've got a lot of variables put into this um, to this algo. And we're gonna go over detail how you want to do it and how it works and so on. And um, that will be April the 1st coming up. So just heads up on that at 5 p.m., something to look forward to. If we look at um, what's going on with the markets here this morning, we want to look at the speed in the market. Now, we're down around 25.16 a barrel as we speak. But, man, it's just been a great this, uh, morning this morning. Actually got in here a little bit late uh, um, here this morning and still made some uh, significant progress on shorting oil this morning also so been very profitable here uh, recently due to uh, the volatility based upon these trend boxes because what you want to do is you want to look at um, you want to look at the speed box if you get a one candle speed box that closes inside of it you know to look for these first retracements right there there's your first retracements and you want to get short on that little first retracement Oops, hold on one second. There we go. So this last one right here, to, uh, this last move up, here's one. Oh, right, actually, this one. This is where I got short this morning uh, right there. I made $800 on this trade right there. That's where I got short on that one this morning. So, you know, you want to look for this. You want to look for this um, these speed bars that come down for the one candle speed bars and look for the retracements. 
So if you see a one candle close, you know you got you got major speed in the market, and that's when we got to participate. So as we see, once you get one candle close, if you ever see this on the three sim, you got major speed in the market. So what we want to try to do is we want to try to take the first retracement. We want to look for the first retracement. This is a good one here this morning. That was actually, like I said, I got a little late in the office this morning, and that was my first trade of the day right there. And it worked out quite well on the nice push. And then you had your second wave down right there also. So, you know, that's what we want to try to do. We want to try to get involved in the market when you get these speed bars come in and try to get the first retracement. Any candle that closes one candle close or two candle close, you have major speed. Look for the first retracement. And that's what we want to try to do. So that's actually uh, working out quite well. Now, you can use the 9 sim. The, the ultimate sell was here uh, this morning around 7 at 2590. I was not in the office at the time at this one, but that's, that's a good one right here. I was a little late to the game, but um, needless to say, the oil has been really producing some nice moves. Now, if you look at the 3 sim, the 3 sim, if you get a one candle close, if you get a one candle close on the five sim, then you want to look for a two candle close on the three sim to confirm it. And there's your two candle close. That was the ultimate setup at the high. Two candle close, ultimate setup at the high on the swing. So here's your two candle close. Nice setup here. Two candle close. These are all set up by one candle close on the five sim. And there's our last sell setup. And this actually was our last buy setup on this move up. So this is how you want to try to do it. You want to try to get into these swings. You want to try to get into these swings when the market gets what? When the market comes up and gives me a full retracement. Two candle close, market comes up to a full retracement. There's your full retracement and you're good to go. Okay, so that's what we want to try to do. We want to try to position ourselves on full retracement trades. Okay? So like I said, Goldman Sachs came out and said that uh, we have a target overall $20 on crude. Who knows? I mean, it could even go into the teens based upon, based upon all, the, uh, all the news that we've been getting lately. So... We just got to make sure we watch, look for the retracements with speed. Look for the retracements with speed. All right, so the next setup we're going to look for is if we get below 2490 here, if we get below 2490, what we want to do, 2490 would be the ultimate breakdown of developing profile. Now the algo just got off its first target here, went short again based upon the swing high and went short again, got off his first target. So if you did take that, make sure you scale. But um, you will be getting this algo, like I said, at the, uh, we'll go over April the 2nd, coming out to you, April the 1st, sorry, April the 1st. Um, but make sure we look for the easiest way to do this, guys and gals. And here's the easiest way that I like to do this, make sure we're clear on this. If I get a one candle close with trend, if, if we're trending down and I see one candle close on the five sim, here's a one candle close inside the trend box, it's red. One candle close, one candle close. Then I want to look for two candle closes over here on the three sim and look for these retracements down here. Look for these retracements. Oops. Look for these full retracements. This is where you want to participate. Full retracement, full retracement, full retracement. You want to participate in these full retracements as we set it up on the five cent. Okay?